I'm Kat with IDA TV, and I'm here at Film Break's Monthly Mixer, and I'm here with another amazing actress. I've got Mae Melanson. She's an actor and writer, and she's been on great projects like The L World and L Word and X Men. So, Mae, just tell me a little bit about uh, what projects you have coming up right now. Well, um, I have a couple projects coming up. I've I started off modeling, and then I went to doing like little parts in TV shows, and then I. Was started doing more feature film type stuff and um, a project that I have coming up right now is Shockwave Dark Side which is a 3D film and it takes place on the moon and it's really cool I would kind of described it, it as a re like one of those retro type films like Solaris the Russian version and I'm really excited about it because um, it's it's something really unique and it takes you into a world and the way it's shot and everything I think is stylized in a way that people would really appreciate. Uh, and I've also started getting more into writing and I've recently wrote a project called Fallen 8 which is based on the Eight Immortals of Chinese Legend and it looks like that's going to be happening so I'm really excited about it. That's so exciting. I mean you're kind of like a cocktail. You're Chinese, Japanese and French? Yes. Yes, yes. Uh, I'm Chinese, Japanese, and French, and I was born in the Philippines. <laughs> and um, I've lived all over the world, so I think it's really cool right now what's happening in media, what's happening in film and TV, and now the digital space. It's this amalgamation of you know, the East and the West, and it's coming together, and I think it's creating a different type of, you know, uh, of, of, of media. And I'm really excited to see what's going to start happening in the next couple of years. How did you first get into acting? Um, <laughs> actually, I first started, you know, when I was a kid, I, I played guitar. And I played guitar since I was like five years old. And I lived in Japan and I was in a band and I always thought I was going to be a musician. And then I moved here to the States and I realized it's really difficult to be a musician, you know. But I always love the arts and I love creating and, you know, I think when you're I'm very emotional and I'm very passionate and I acting was something that I you know I, I started doing commercials as I was saying and I was like I need something to be able to express it's really important for me very and I'm a terrible artist I can't be an artist um, I don't think I'm good enough to be a musician so I was like let me try this and as I started doing it I really fell in love with it and it was very cathartic and it healed me and it helped me get out of you know being like the teen angst and you know like not knowing the direction I wanted to go and also that you're able to embody these characters that can touch people's hearts and you know you can really affect people and you know th it, there's also been something that I find interesting is how people watch films and if you think of what you remember in life you know a lot of times you'll be like oh what is you know France like and you'll relate it to some film you've seen you know and it's such a powerful medium and it's something I feel really lucky to be part of and really lucky that I'm working in it yes most definitely do you have any advice for any aspiring artists out there um, because I've started writing more there's two different advices. I mean, I guess it's kind of the same. For, for an actor, I think is, you need to experience life. You can't just be sitting around reading books. Yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Because you can like, you know, you can stay in class and definitely go to class. You know, you can't say you're an actor and not be studying your craft. Um, be really positive. Uh, keep that up. Take care of yourself. Don't get into, you know, don't, don't, don't get, I think that sometimes people will get a lot of uh, vices. I think vices are very dangerous for an artist's career. Like stay clean, stay healthy, because that's what's going to keep you sane and that's what's going to keep you having longevity. I think that's really important. Um, and then as a writer, I would say be willing to be lonely, lock yourself up, you know. <laughs> Yeah, it's a de de discipline across the board for both of those. And having a positive attitude. And learning to work with people. Because we're not islands, you know? That's true. It takes, yeah. you know, all kinds of people. Exactly. Wonderful. Thank you, man. That's been really inspiring. Okay, and I look you. forward to seeing more of your projects. And thank you for taking the time to talk to us. And thank give, you so much. And give other people out there some advice. Thank, thank you. you. I'm Kat with ID TV. Thank you.